Hello everyone, I'm Lacey with Living with Lacey. Thank you so much for joining me here. Uh, Y'all, I am, okay, I think I just have a problem. I have a problem. I am strongly addicted to stationery. I have been on Instagram and Facebook and YouTube and I've been seeing these unique pens called a fountain pen and I finally decided to get me one. Uh, I did a lot of research on it and I wanted to start out with a beginner pen. I've never had a fountain pen before. Um, I thought that they were kind of like the, the old pens that you used to have to dip in the ink. It's something similar to that. It has a reservoir where you pull the ink out and it's so, uh, it's so neat. Um, another thing, it's supposed to really improve your writing and your writing experience. So of course, it's part of stationery. I had to purchase one and I wanted to open this up and just really try this out with you all. So if you're interested in looking at my first beginner fountain pen, just keep watching. All right, guys, so let's get into it. So I have ordered, this is my fountain pen right here. Of course it came in a box and I went ahead and just unboxed it. I have opened it up and took a look at it, but let's go ahead and open it up so y'all can see. It comes in a nice little tin container, nothing fancy. Like I said, this was a beginner fountain pen. I got this fountain pen from Amazon for $16.99. It's on sale right now. I will link it below in the description box. It's normally $19.99. Now, the reason why I went with this pen as a beginner fountain pen is because this had basically 4.5 stars on Amazon and it had 21,000 people rated this fountain pen. So, <clears throat> this is why. So this is a black forest fountain pen. I decided to go with a fine nib. In my research that I've been looking at, most people go with the fine nib. I've also seen some medium points, but I thought I would start with the fine nib. Now this is called a Hongdian fountain pen. Um, it's supposed to be streamlined, stainless steel, to have this wonderful writing experience. Y'all, it has a little weight to it too. Um, it comes with a converter for bottled ink. Let's see if we open it up. This is what it looks like. So this is called a nib. And this is for anyone that's never had a fountain pen before. So y'all can look right with me. It's called a nib. Love the way that looks, that point. It feels good. I've had, I've seen a couple of people complain about, you know, the the roundness here and the way it feels right here and they they really didn't like it I guess they wanted something a little more bulky or a little thicker but this is my first one so I don't know the difference <laughs> but it's supposed to be um, supposed to really help with exceptional writing experience uh, let's see if you open this up and we twist this out and you take this part off this is the converter so we would see. I'm trying to think, do we leave this on? Oh, oh, we do. Okay. I think I'm gonna twist this all the way out. I think I've seen it two ways. I've seen some people take this whole thing out, dip it inside of the ink and then pull it out and put it back. I've also seen where people just dip this part inside the ink and then they just twist. And that's how they pull it up. So we're gonna do this together so we can see how this works. All right, I think that's it. I wanna make sure this is gonna go on like it's supposed to. You finish, okay. I think this is great. All right, next I ordered some ink. Of course, it didn't come with ink. I was looking for an ink that was a pure black because I really like black ink. I usually don't use blue or any other colors. This Waterman is supposed to be an intense black ink. The reason why I went with this one is because it also had 
4.5 stars, but it had 16,682 ratings. And so I wanted to try something that had um, really dark, dark, dark black. Waterman does come in this black, it's called Intense Black, and it comes in a Serenity Blue. It says this liquid produces an intense line in brilliant colors. All right, so are y'all ready? I'm feeling like I need to have something so I won't get this all over the desk because I've never, never used this before. So I'm gonna pull this off. I'm trying to think of a couple of different ways I should try it. I think I'm gonna try it this way, but, oh, there we go. Y'all see that? So we'll pull this down here. You see this? This just turns, so we'll turn it. I believe you have to push this all the way down. Okay. All right, I need to get some tissue. Okay, I went and got a paper towel so I can have something to wipe it off with. Okay, I went ahead and just gave this a little shake. Make sure that it's mixed up really well. I don't see any other instructions, but I did. I think I need to put this down here. I did. Like I said, oh, let me move my traveler's notebook far, far away. <laughs> Y'all got to protect my investment. Okay. Oh my gosh, that looks beautiful. All right. So I'm going to take the nib and dip the nib in here. I'm going to go at an angle because I've seen that. And then I'm going to start pulling this up. Gotta make sure it's make sure it gets deep down off in there. Shoot. I'm about to tear something up, y'all. Okay. That's not it. Okay, here it comes. Can y'all see that? I should have put my camera in a different view. Okay. Lay it down. Put the ink on here. Because I don't want to make a mess. Go ahead and wipe this off. Put this right back in here. Yeah, I did get some on my fingers. It's okay. Let's try it. It's my very first fountain pen experience. Okay. And it's working. Okay, this one is very thin. This. Okay, so this is this is how it feels. I'm not I'm pretty sure because there are fountain pens that cost over $300 and I'm sure that those pens have a um, the writing is probably so much better. But this right here is really nice. So here you go. You can hear it too as it's, as, as it's writing. So that's the one thing they tried. You see, if I write really fast, it sticks right with me. It's great. All right, y'all. So here we go. My first fountain pen. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna link it in the description box below if you wanna try it out. Listen, I always say go with um, something of value if um, you don't wanna try it out a $300 pen and find out that you don't like it. So I don't know y'all, but I might've started something. <laughs> I might've started something. <laughs> I 
we'll be checking out some some more fountain pens. So let me know what you think about this fountain pen. Just so you know, like I said, it's weighty. It's black. I love the design on this side right here. And I think it's going to look really good. Really good with one of my planners. I don't know which one's going to get it, but someone is. All right, so if you have any questions, just let me know. Thank you again for joining me. If you are new and just stopping by, please consider subscribing. If, for everyone else, please click on the notification bell. And everyone, give this video. If you watch it, give it a like. All right, thank you so much. Don't forget, take charge of your life one plan at a time. And I'll see you on the next video.